Thanks for joining me today. I'm Curl Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'll show you how to edit a brush look. If you don't know what a look is, you can watch my previous video, which shows you how to create and use looks. This video is going to focus on editing looks, specifically looks that you've imported from someone else's workspace that are not working in yours, or looks that are your own that you're moving to a newer version of Painter. So I have the look libraries open here, and I have four custom looks that I created. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the first one, which is Knife Canvas. I'm going to click on the top right sub dialog and I'm going to choose Edit Look. Now that's going to bring up two things. One is this warning message that says that it's opened the look to be edited. We can just click on OK. And the other is this Edit Look notepad file. And I know this looks like a bunch of computer jargon here. Some of it is, some of it I don't understand. But there may be some things that you recognize, such as Painter 18 brushes, Thick Paint AR, Broken Paint. Essentially, what this is doing is this is listing out all of the properties that are involved to make that look happen. What's the brush library being used? What's the brush category? What's the brush being used? What are the different sliders set to? What texture is being used? Is there a flow map being used? Is there a pattern being used? And so on. So if you've imported a look and that particular look is not working, you want to look in here and you want to make sure that everything matches up. For example, we'll start at the top. Script version number version 18. This is referring to the version of Painter. So if you're moving a look from Corel Painter 2016 to Corel Painter 2018, then you would want this to be an 18 rather than a 16. This really doesn't affect the usability of the look, it's just good housekeeping. But the next line is very important, because this is telling the look where the brush is located. So Painter 18 brushes, Thick Paint AR Broken Paint, is referring to the location in the brush selector. So Brush Library, you want to make sure that that's set to the appropriate library that you're using. And then you want to make sure that the Thick Paint AR category is within that library. I can see that it is here. And then we want to make sure that the broken paint brush is within that category, and it is. So now the look should be able to find this particular brush. But that's not all the look is doing. The look is also adding textures and other properties. The properties you don't really have to worry so much about, but things like the paper textures, if there's a particular paper texture selected, then you'll want to make sure that that paper texture is installed. For example, if I go to my paper libraries here, this is the paper texture library that's being referenced. There's also an area to input the flow map textures, image portfolios, gradients, weaves, patterns, painter textures, painter selections. Your look might not be using all this stuff, it's just here. If your look isn't working and it came from my workspace, probably the problem is that the look is trying to reference these things here and it's not finding those particular brushes. Once you've made some changes, you can just save this file by going to save, and it will update that look. One thing it'll do is it'll throw away your custom icon, so you'll have to re-add that. Let's go ahead and click on another look here that has some different properties. We'll go ahead and edit that look. You can see this is referring to the same brush library, the same category, the same brush, but the texture for the paper is different. It's now looking in organismal textures for polypay wool. And if the organismal paper textures library is not installed, you won't have polypay wool, and you won't be able to use this look. So all you need to do to get this look working is just install organismal textures, and then you'll have polypay wool. Other than that, you don't have to worry about anything else. So once you've edited the look to reference the correct brushes and libraries, your look should now be working just fine. Again, I will put emphasis on if you're moving from a new version to Painter, you're going to have to edit your looks, because if I go to Edit Look here, this look is referencing the Painter 2018 brush library. So if I was using Corel Painter 2016 and I upgraded to Corel Painter 2018, this would say 16, and if I change it to that and I save it, let's watch what happens when we go to select that brush now. It says the preferred brush variant, broken paint cannot be found, you may choose another brush variant and continue the script, blah 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 blah. So basically, this is not working. I'll click on stop script, I'll go back and I'll edit that look, I'll make sure that it's referencing the correct library, wherever those brushes are installed, I'll click back on that look, and now that look works just fine. If you're interested in learning more about Corel Painter, I have a lot more tutorials you can check out. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and enable notifications through the bell icon, that way you don't miss a single video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.